So I talked about who is not a candidate for artist site making. Let's talk about who is. So patients who have loss of hair and hair density, I think they're fantastic candidates for artist um, site making. And that's because the artist has the ability to preserve hairs and go in between those hairs. So if you're worried about your hair density, you want thicker hair and you want to go in between those hairs, I think the artist IX is going to do a better job than any human can actually do. So that's a, that's a great way of doing that. Uh, the second patient is a good candidate is patients who are willing to shave their heads who have a shorter hairstyle. Um, shaving your head, you don't actually have to shave your head, but you have to go to about 1.5 to 2 millimeters. So if you wear your hair with a shorter hairstyle, it's not a big deal. But if you have really long hair, you're probably not going to want to um, uh, do that. If, if, it, if it's going to give you that downtime, give you the anxiety for that. Um, uh, the other reason you might want to do our artist eye exercise making is if you shave your head, all of your hair kind of grows at that same length. And we see patients when they kind of grows together, it actually becomes a little bit easier over the next few months to see that hair kind of come up and come together. Um, so that's another person I think would be a good candidate for artist site making. Um, so um, in general, I love the artist um, IX for site making. It's the best hands down for our harvesting grafts. And then for site making, we use it in select patients. Um, and in those select patients, um, it does the job outstanding.